Welcome to News Flash on Uleke TV. I am Anthonia Mokolo. 16 days after the Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company disconnected University College Hospital in Ibadan, Oyo State, for owing 495 million naira power, has been restored to the health facility. It was gathered that electricity was restored around 6.30 p.m. on Thursday. IBEDC disconnected the facility on March 19, the third time in less than two months over what it called accumulated bill indebtedness. While giving reasons for the disconnect, the Ibadan Disco explained that it disconnected the hospital after failed attempts to engage with the facility's management regarding the 495 million naira debt, which had persisted for over six years. Lagos, Kano, and 10 other states have concluded plans to start generating power in their respective states in conformity with the Electricity Act 2023. It was gathered on Thursday that some of these states had established their electricity market laws and were waiting for the approval of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission to have independent regulatory bodies different from the NEC owned by the federal government. As the states step up efforts to generate electricity, the federal government's 24 240% power tariff hike for consumers in band are enjoying 20-hour electricity attracted more condemnations on Thursday. The Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetokun, has authorized the promotion of 10,581 deserving junior officers of the Inspectorate Cadre and the rank and file in line with this directive. The Deputy Inspector General of Police, overseeing the Department of Finance and Administration, has been tasked with coordinating efforts alongside the Commissioner of Police Welfare to commence the promotion process promptly. The first public relations officer, Olumuiwa Adejubi, made this known in a statement on Friday. The Inspector General of Police, Olukayo de Egbetokun, on Thursday said 141 terror cases, 214 kidnappings, and 537 homicide cases were reported to the police in the last eight weeks. Egbetokun added that 3,685 suspects were apprehended for their participation in various crimes, while 401 kidnapped victims were rescued. The IGP said this while fielding questions from journalists at the Nigerian Police Force headquarters, Louis Edit House, Abuja. Yaiji said the police would continue to strive for excellence by being more proactive in policing approach. Plato State Speaker Gabriel Dewan has sworn in out nine out of the 16 all progressives Congress lawmakers. The swearing in took place in the early hours of Friday in Jos. It was gathered that the member from Jos East was appointed Deputy Speaker of the Assembly. Dewan was said to have justified the swearing in based on a letter he received mentioning where it emanated from. The Court of Conduct Tribunal on Thursday suspended the chairman of the Kano State Public Compliance and Anti-Corruption Commission, Mui Magaji, following allegations of misconduct and breach of public officers' conduct. Magaji, who is facing charges ranging from alleged conflict of interest, breach of the Code of Conduct for Public Officers, abuse of office, false asset declaration to bribery and accepting gifts among others, was arraigned in Abuja on Thursday. The CCT granted the application directing the defendant to step aside as the chairman of PCACC over the allegation of contravening the provisions of the Code of Conduct Bureau and Tribunal Act CAP C-15 LFN 20-2004. The CCT ordered Magaji to step aside pending the hearing and determination of the case. And that's all on News Flash on Wille Care TV. I am Antonia Mukulu. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.